are you suffering from to-do list overwhelm? Do you have a million things that you have to do or accomplish in a day or a week? And the more you think about it or the more you're going through that list, the overwhelm is building and building. I am going to share with you a quick technique and tip to slow down that overwhelm from building. So we all have overwhelm to one extent or another. Some days it's more, some days it's less. We live in a fast paced world. We live fast paced lives and we all have a million things we have to get done. It could be personal, it could be work, it could be stuff for your children, it could be stuff for a volunteer, you know, job that you do. It all sort of comes together and culminates and the more we think about what we have to do, the more we look at the list of what we have to do, it's harder and harder to go through it. And then the overwhelm just sort of builds. It builds when we're thinking about it. It builds when we're trying to rush to do from one thing to the next. And that's when we wind up making mistakes or accidents happen because we're bringing that rushed overwhelm energy into our day. How can we slow it down? How can we move from task to task without that rush of energy overwhelm and stress that we carry with us when we're moving from one thing to the next. Again, it can be in your work day and your the things that you have to get done during work and it could just be on a weekend in your personal life and you're just so overwhelmed because of all the things that you have to get done on your weekend off when you're supposed to be relaxing, right? We all deal with it. Here's my super easy trick to slow down that spiral or that storm of overwhelm. It's something I heard years ago from um, best-selling author Brendan Burchard, where he talked about transition meditations. I like to use these transition meditations for 60 seconds, maybe up to three minutes, but 60 seconds works. And I just like to stop what I'm doing in between each task I've completed something, even before I'm going to start it. Let's say you're just starting your day, right? You want to start it with, with a transition meditation before you're going to go into something else that you're doing. And then in between each thing that you're doing, when you've completed something before you move to the next, I want you to do 60 seconds to 30 minutes of a transition meditation. What does that mean? You can just stop what you're doing and say, okay, I've completed that. Oh God, I feel good that it's done or I'm just starting my day, you're gonna close your eyes and you're gonna repeat some type of a mantra to recenter your energy, to bring yourself back to the present before you go on to the next thing that you have to do. This mantra can be anything that you want. It can be release, release. It can be letting go, letting go. It can be love, it can be all is well. I am making progress. All is well. I am making progress. Any of those that feel good to you, you can do for these transition meditations. They can be done, as I said, like you go through your to-do list. Years ago, I heard Brendan talk about doing it where, you know, you, um, maybe you're, you know, sitting in the car when you get home from work before you get into the house because now you're transitioning to your nighttime. But like I said, the way I like to use them is in between the tasks that I'm doing that day because it slows everything down. It brings me back to the present moment. I'm grateful that I've accomplished something. I'm now moving on to the next in a centered place. It does wonders. I cannot even tell you how helpful this is to me, especially when I have a packed day. Maybe I'm doing interviews. Maybe I'm you know, being interviewed on a podcast, and then I also have a meeting, and then I also have a, um, a, a task that I have to complete myself, or I have emails, or whatever it might be in my business day. I just like to just stop in between each one, recenter myself, and then go on to the next. Again, you can do this in your personal life as well. But as you're transitioning from one thing to the next, stop just 60 seconds is all you need of repeating that mantra, of dropping your shoulders, of saying, okay, I'm ready to go on to the next thing. And I'm not gonna take that swirling energy train of stress and overwhelm with me throughout the day because I'm gonna slow it down with every task. 
try this. I promise you it will make such a big difference, especially when you know you have a lot going on that day. And please, I always say when it comes to overwhelm, the best thing you can do is get everything out of your head. Get it onto a list, get it onto paper, put it into your phone on the notes section, whatever you need to do to get it out of your head. And then as you're moving through it, do the transition meditations. Let me know how it goes for you. Leave a comment below. And as always, if there's any topics or questions that you have, you can leave a comment below and I would be happy to cover it in the next video. And I will see you there.